This video is going to explain the difference between a credence good and an experience good in economics. So let's start with an experience good. An experience good is a good where you don't know the quality of the good until you've consumed the good. So an example of this for me is an apple. When I buy an apple from the store, I have no idea if it's gonna be sweet or sour or good or bad. I just buy it, I bite into the apple, and then at that point I actually do know whether it's good or bad. But at that point it's too late to take it back. Another example of this is a musical where you buy the ticket, you consume the product, you watch the musical, and only once you finish with the musical do you actually know if it's good or not. At that point it's too late to return it. So experience goods are goods you have no idea the quality of the good until after you've consumed it. Now there's ways of fixing the experience good problem. For example, people who review musicals can tell you ahead of time if they liked it. And farmers probably know the difference between a good and bad apple just by looking at it. So maybe if you watched enough YouTube videos you could learn to tell a good versus bad apple before consuming it. But I think an apple is generally a pretty good example of an experience good. A credence good, on the other hand, is a good where you don't know the quality of the good even after you've consumed it. So classic example here is the car mechanic. You go in, you pay your money to get your car fixed, they say these three things are wrong, we need to fix these three things, you pay them for those three things, you leave the shop and your car is working fine, but the question is, did you really need those three things done? Was it good, honest, auto mechanic work, or were they, were they scamming you? And you probably never know, unless you actually have enough education to sort of watch what they're doing and enough intuition to figure out are they lying to me or not. You probably are never going to know if they took advantage. Now sometimes you can figure it out. For example, a few years ago I was going to this one auto mechanic called Honest Auto and they they had me change my battery so, that, so I bought a new battery from them and like nine months later I came back and they tested my battery and they're like, you need a new battery and I'm like, uh, I got one from you nine months ago. And they were like, what? And they went in their records and looked at sort of my history of what I gotten and they were like, oh, oh, never mind. And um, it turned out they hadn't changed my battery before. They just, they just told me I needed a battery change and charged me for it, but didn't do it. So not good. But a doctor is another example of a credence good. You don't know the quality of the doctor's care before you go in. And when you leave the doctor, you still don't know what quality of care you're getting. Even if the doctor is honest, the doctor may just not have the, that much training in the type of medicine you need. They may be making judgment calls quickly. They may not be looking up all of the information they could look up. They could be relying on intuition that's flawed because the last 10 patients they saw that had similar symptoms as you had a one particular diagnosis. So they just sort of automatically assume you're like those other 15 patients without asking all the questions they need to to really figure out could something else be going on. So you don't know the quality of your medical care either before or after you receive it. And with Credence Goods, it's actually really difficult to solve that problem. I mean, there's, there's Yelp reviews of auto mechanic shops, and there are also reviews of doctors, but there's problems with reviews of doctors, particularly because when doctors take on more complicated patients, patients that have a lot of things wrong with them and you kind of have to balance all these different factors, that's going to lead to worse outcomes. So it's going to appear like those doctors that take on these complex patients are, are doing worse on outcome measures. But those doctors might actually be doing better, it's just the job they're undertaking is a lot harder. So. The credence good problem is a really hard one to solve. It's an imperfect information problem in economics. And so it's something to think about if you're thinking through healthcare economic issues.